You can download the ELS in the video for free, link in the description. For signals in Godot, you can connect them by selecting the node with the signal, then going to node, then signals, find the signal that you want to connect. You can either double left click or right click, then press connect, then select the script that you want the signal to connect to and activate code inside of, then press connect. This function will now activate every single time the signal is emitted, which inside I will just have the scene change to the snow world. Alternatively, if you want to connect a signal via code, grab the node that you want to connect the signal from, then the signal that you want to connect, which for me is the press signal, then use the connect function, passing the custom function that you want to activate when the signal occurs or emits. Also keep in mind that you just want to write the name of the signal and you don't have to include any brackets on the end of it. Now a signal in Godot is basically an event that when emitted will cause the connected function to run its code. This code will only run once per time that the signal is emitted and Godot features many different built-in signals on various nodes that are very important, such as the button press signal that we have here. Additionally, in the case you connect a signal to multiple functions within a single node or just to multiple nodes, keep in mind that Godot can't guarantee the order of the function activation when the signal is emitted as various factors cause this order to change, meaning that the signal won't always activate the connected function from top to bottom. Also, when it comes to signals being emitted or activated, don't need to do any code for pressing the button and then having that activate a press signal, as Godot will just do that for you. Although, if you would like, inside the script, you can grab the node with the signal, then call the emit signal function, passing a string with the signal's name. This emit signal function will forcibly activate the signal, which can be handy in some cases. Now for disconnecting signals, you can do it in the same way as connecting them, selecting the node, then going to node, signal, finding the signal that you want to disconnect, pressing right click, and then selecting disconnect. Alternatively, inside the code, you can grab the node with the signal, then grab its signal that you want to disconnect, call the disconnect function, and pass the function that you want to disconnect from the signal. And you can also disconnect manually connected signals. Just make sure you put the correct name for the function that is activating when the signal emits. Another thing you can do with signals is pass a custom variable along with the signal when it gets emitted. For a manual connection, select the node, then go to node, signals, double left click or press right click, then connect, then press advanced. From here, you can select the drop down, and select the type of the built-in variable that you want to add. For mine, I will add a string. Then press add. You can then add the argument of the new built-in variable, which for mine, I will have it be the path to the level scene. Additionally, in the case you have multiple arguments and you want to remove a specific one, select the argument's name so that it is highlighted blue. Then select remove to remove it. Once you have added the argument that you want and set its value, select the script that you want to connect it to and press connect. Then in the code, you can just grab this built-in variable and access its value. Also, keep in mind that you can change the name of the variable from extra arg zero to something more readable like level path, for example. Just make sure that you don't change the order of built-in variables if you have multiple of them. Then to pass custom variables through a signal that is connected in the code, grab the node with the signal, then the signal that you want to connect to a custom function, then call the connect function, passing the custom function that you want to connect the signal to, then add dot bind, and inside of the bind function, put all the values of the different arguments or built-in variables, which if you have one, then just put the one value. But if you have multiple built-in variables inside the custom function that you are connecting to, then you can type those values here separated by a comma. Similar to calling functions with multiple built-in variables. And to edit these variables later, go to the node that you want to edit, go to node, signals, find the signal that you want to edit, right click it, then press edit. From here, we can add more arguments or change the already existing arguments value. Then to save that change, select the script that you were already connected to and press connect again. This will just update those values. Or alternatively, you can select a different script to change the connection to that script instead, which this will also save any of the changes to arguments as well. Although keep in mind that if you're changing where the signal is connected to, then in the previous location where that signal was once connected to, the function will still exists. So if you are changing the connection, then make sure to remove this code as well. Although again, keep in mind that you can connect a signal to multiple functions at the same time. Now you have an example of using signals in Godot and some use cases of signals that you can add to any of your Godot games. And don't forget that you can check out the project files in the description.